it is finally the time for us to take a look at KDE modifications. And if you have watched my other videos, you're probably surprised how easy it is nowadays to customize the desktop environment and how similar they are despite which environment you're on. And I have to say that KDE is providing the most intuitive way for users to customize their desktops because the system will take care of most of the things so we as users don't have to worry about where to download the themes, where to extract, and how to create the hidden folders in the system. So I hope you're ready. Let's jump in. Click on Application Launcher and go to System Settings. Under Appearance, go to Global Theme. Click on Get New Global Themes. Here you, you can choose whichever you like. For this video, I'm going to install the first one here. Click on Install. Type in the password and then choose the theme. Click on Apply. And all the icons here in the panel will be changed. And the application icons will change too. So this is how you change the overall look and feel for KDE. But it provides more controls for you to customize the desktop environment. So if we go to the icon section and click on Get New Icons, and download any other icons we like. For example, I'm going to download this icon. I'm going to install the yellow one and apply the theme. And now all the icons will change to another theme. But still, the overall skin stays the same. Similarly, if we go to Plasma Style, we can see it is already using the global theme package we chose here. What we can also do is to get more style. And I'm going to download another one to install and use this theme instead. Now the plasma style has changed, but the icons still stays the same. And if we go to application style and go to window decorations, we can see our install package already provide us a lot of customized theme here. If I don't like the one I'm using right now, I can choose another one. Now the window bar has become white. So this is the overall gestures on how to change the icons and themes on KDE. As you can see, you don't have to go anywhere other than the appearance underneath system settings. Now, let's see how to customize the panel and the terminal. Right click on the panel and click on edit panel. We can move the panel by dragging the screen edge button. I'm going to move it to the top. Similarly, if we want to change the height, we can drag the height button. I'm going to put it at 30. And now if you pay really close attention, you can see there's something called pager here. But if I close this setting, you'll be gone. So basically, that is a plugin for the virtual desktop similar to XFCE, Cinnamon, and Mate. KDE is also providing the function of virtual desktop. So this is the indicator to switching the desktop from one to another. It's not showing up right here because initially there's only one desktop, so there's nothing to switch to. What we need to do for it to show up is to go to system settings again under workspace behavior. Go to virtual desktops. What I'm going to do is to add three more desktops and rename them to desktop 2, 3, and 4. Click apply. You'll see the desktop indicators are here. Now we can click on them to switch from one to another. The panel is already kind of transparent up here because of the global theme we downloaded before. What I usually do is to turn the terminal background to transparent. So go to console, right click anywhere, edit current profile, appearance, click on edit, drag the transparency bar to 20%. Click on apply. Now the console is transparent. If you've watched my other videos, you probably know that now is the time for me to install an application doc. Usually I go for a software called Plank, but because we're using KDE for this video, and KDE has two major versions, one of them is based on Wayland, and the other one is X11. And Plank works only on X11. It is not compatible with Wayland yet. So in this video, I'm going to go for another doc called Latte Doc. The first thing I'm going to do is to make sure the system repository is up to date. sudo apt update 2m% sudo apt upgrade. Type in my password and wait for it to finish. Here it says there's nothing got upgraded because I've done this before. But if you have a lot of packages got upgraded, 
you probably need to restart your system. After that, what we need to do is to make sure that Latte is available for us to install. apt search latte doc. And here it is. Copy it, sudo apt install paste. After it's done, we can start it. I think the app itself is called Latte. And here it is. On this dock, if you right click anywhere, you can go to dock settings. And in the setting, you can change the position, alignment, and in appearance, you can change the size, the zoom size, and change the background size and transparency. Under task, I always like to take this one on to show only the tasks from the current desktop. So this way I have more privacy. So if I have Firefox open on this desktop, and you can see the Firefox is shown on the dock, it is open. And if I go to the next desktop, it doesn't show it is opened. So this way, if I'm in a Zoom meeting, I can always present one of my desktop without revealing everything I have opened. Let's look at the application launcher situation in KDE. For my other videos, I always install a launcher called uLauncher. But in KDE, you don't have to worry about installing anything because KDE has an awesome tool integrated called KRunner. It can run almost anything. All you have to do is to use their default key binding, which is Alt and Space. Now you can see the KRunner is up. You can fire up your browser, do some math, or check the date. And if you go to the configuration page, you can also disable some of the things. I always like to tick off the software center plugin here because it always come out as the top result, which I already have. And there are a lot of tools here I never used. For example, this unit converter. Let's see how much Canadian dollars is 100 US dollars. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys like it. And please let me know what is your favorite desktop environment in the comment down below. And if you think that this video is helping you daily driving a Linux distribution, please hit the like button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.